Hello and welcome back to the Mars Hill Almanac. My name is Ariel, and today we'll be talking about the constellation Aquarius and some of the deep sky objects around it. Let's start off with Flagstaff's current night sky. The sun sets around 6 p.m. from Flagstaff. The moon is in its last quarter, and it will be up just after midnight. Jupiter and Saturn are up at sunset, almost directly above the southern horizon, setting earlier and earlier each night. Mars is up at sunset, and it spends the night crossing the sky to set at dawn. Venus rises around 3.30 a.m. The Mars opposition is on the 13th. This opposition is where Mars will have a very close approach to Earth, making the planet especially bright in the sky this year. If you'd like to learn more, feel free to tune in to our Mars opposition streams happening every Tuesday in October. Now onto our featured constellation. Aquarius will be low on the southeast horizon at sunset, next to Capricornus. It is a fairly faint zodiac constellation depicting a water bearer. Now into our deep sky challenge. The first object is M2. If you take the two brightest stars in Aquarius towards the west of the constellation and make a nearly right triangle with them to the west about four degrees, or a little less than three fingers width, from Saddle Sao, the brightest star in Aquarius, you'll hit M2. M2 is about 55,000 light years away from Earth. It has a diameter of about 175 light years, so it is one of the largest globular clusters we know of. It's just barely visible to the naked eye in a very dark sky, and it will appear as a fuzzy ball through binoculars, but you can see individual stars through a telescope. The brightest stars in this cluster are red giant stars, so they are very old and cooler stars and appear a little red when you're looking at them. Another object in the sky around Aquarius is Neptune. If you look towards the middle of the constellation and then head east, about 13 degrees or a little over a closed fist in the sky, you may be able to spot him by using a telescope. It will have more of a tealish hue than the stars surrounding it, and you may have to search around in the telescope a little bit to see him. Neptune was actually discovered by using math, and it's one of the two ice giants in our solar system. It was only visited by one spacecraft, Voyager 2, back in 1989, and we haven't had a flyby since, so he's been pretty lonely these past few decades. Thank you for watching the Mars Hill Almanac. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us in the comments, and we'll see you again next time.